Hello bots and bits fans, today we are taking a look at Masterpiece Thrust and examining the details of what causes the terrible hip wobble that most people seem to have with this guy. As you can see the torso isn't connected very well to the hips. What causes that is this push plug. Now it's a one way push plug and what gives it that little bit of play in the hips is it's not all the way in and so you've got a bit of play there and as you can see in the back the stem of the push plug is sticking out. Now you shouldn't really be able to see much of that at all. Now one way you can try and rectify this is by using a C-clamp and placing it above and below the crutch area and try and get that push plug in one more notch. Now I had to use a screw from a computer case fan just to fit in there and get it in the right spot and just chucked a bit of blue tack on there so it wouldn't move and then clamped it down a little bit more. I didn't have much success with this with my Ramjet or my other Takaras although it did go in a little bit more. Now another way you can try to do this, remove the crutch plate altogether grab your snips or a hobby knife or something and then just start cutting into the plastic to remove the rest of that push plug because the last two notches on the plug will stay in there quite hard and if you try and pull them out with tweezers the head of it will snap off and you'll just be left with the stem inside and you'll have to dig it out anyway. Instead a better way I found to fix my Takara Skywarp and Starscream was to remove the crutch plate and cut a section of clamshell off and then insert it in between the crutch and the die cast torso piece just to fill that gap and remove any wobble. Now the tools you're going to need, firstly something pointy and skinny to push the pin out. I use a screwdriver from a mobile phone repair kit and it fits inside that pinhole just absolutely perfectly. You'll also need a pair of pliers just to pull the pin out at the end so you don't lose it. And a screwdriver because there is a screw behind that crutch plate holding it all together. You'll also need a pair of scissors or some snips to clip some of that clamshell off and of course a clamshell or thin bit of plastic. Now the first thing you'll need to do is obviously get this pin out. Now typically the teeth are on this side and if you don't know what teeth are they are an expanded part of the pin to stop it sliding all the way through. Now you don't want to push the teeth all the way through because they will make the hole too big for the pin to go back in when you reassemble it. So typically on Takara the flat side is here and the teeth are there so you want to push it through from that side. Now, the first time you do this, it can be really, really difficult and you just have to do it slow and just really take your time. Move everything to a position where you can grip it without anything moving when you apply pressure. Try and wedge it into part of the pin and then just gradually apply more pressure slowly. Don't just slam it or you might slip and damage something or stab yourself. And then just like that, it'll come through. Grab your pliers and then just pull it out gently so you don't lose it or drop it. And there they are, there's those teeth that I was telling you about before. The crutch plate just comes off really easily and you can see the screw hole underneath. The front hip plate just comes away easily once unscrewed and then the legs will just fall out. Just be aware that once the legs do fall out, the small little tabs for ratchets are inside the arse end of this crutch plate. Try and make sure you don't lose them or you're just going to have floppy legs forever. So Takara have already put a washer in for this joint but it's just not doing the job. So we're going to create a couple of plastic spaces just to fill this gap and even out the hip level. So we're going to need to cut a bit of plastic approximately one centimeter wide and about one and a half centimeters long. So here's our square and you can see that I haven't really made it too pretty. Now what we're going to need to do is cut a U shape in this so we can slot it just in between the crutch and the torso. So my final measurements for this piece are about 14 millimeters long and about 11 millimeters wide. And the internal cut is about one centimeter by five millimeters. So now that our piece is cut, just hang thrust upside down and then gently slide it in. A little wiggle left, right, left, right. Don't force the spacer because you might bend the arms and you'll need to cut a new one. Once it's in as far as it wants to go, you'll see the arms of the spacer are now covering this whole back section here, leveling out the hips completely. There's a little bit on mine sticking out of the sides, but we can just clean that up with a hobby knife later. Now we've got this little lip left over on the end here. This is on purpose. We're gonna use this to stop the spacer moving as the hips do. So we're going to fold that lip over, apply a lot of pressure smoothly to get a really sharp, clean edge. Now when we reattach the crutch plate, this lip will hold everything in place and the spacer won't move at all. 
Now, I've had a problem. The single spacer has only eliminated the problem by about 50%. And this lower bit is just too tight to fit a second spacer. It forces the hips forward and then you're unable to connect the legs in jet mode. So instead, we're going to include a second spacer. I've cut a very, very tiny one to go underneath the push plug and the washer. So this bit is quite fiddly, so I'm using pliers. I'm also pushing the crutch piece forward to create a better gap to insert the spacer. So take your time, work it in gently. If you bend it too much and you get a kink in it, just cut another one and try again. Once it's half secure, you can put your pliers down and just use your fingers to position it a little bit better. There's less room for movement in this piece, so you can either cut the excess lip away or fold it down like the other one. Now that both are in, that is completely sorted and I'm done. It's time to reassemble this guy. Getting the legs back in is an absolute pain in the ass to balance these. And also, before you screw things back together, you really want to double check that your ratchets are still in the correct positions. It can be a bit difficult to balance the legs and align the screw hole properly, but you really want to get it right so you don't accidentally thread the screw. The tightness of this screw affects how stiff the hip ratchets are, but you don't want to overdo it and, like I said, thread the screw. So tighten it up, check your ratchet clicks, see how they are, and then tighten a little bit more until they are as tight or as stiff as you like them. Hang on, I'll just straighten them up a bit. Now let's check that it's actually worked. The hip wobble is now completely gone. So now let's finish up and chuck his crutch plate back on. The pin won't go in unless these holes are lined up absolutely perfectly. It's near impossible to push this back in properly with your fingers, so just use the pliers again. Grab your push tool that you use to get the pin out. Give it a slow push back in all the way as those teeth need to be inside the plastic. Good enough, I'll tidy that up after. So there you go guys, hips are completely fixed, there's no more wobble and it all feels really sturdy. I wish I had a fix for these shitty knees, but I don't, so this will just have to do. I didn't expect this push plug to be so extended, so the second spacer was created during filming. Unfortunately, two spacers in the one section just doesn't work. Two U-shaped spacers make the hips lean forward and you can't transform into jet mode properly, and two plug spacers just don't fit properly. You could try experimenting with thicker plastics under the push plug instead of using a U-shape, but this way worked for me in the past, so that's why I went down this path. If you have any thoughts, ideas, comments, or questions, feel free to leave them below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video, and don't forget to check out our Facebook for more news and updates on third-party and KOs coming out in the future.